Good morning. Marshall here from Doherty Farms. And a while back, my father gave me this BRIPE, stands for brew pipe. Um, and then we had to clean up and it got put in a, put in a cabinet and then it got kind of out of sight, out of mind. But he just happened to ask if I've tried it and I got nothing going on. So I said, you know what, let's give it a rip. Um, hopefully I can end up looking as cool as that guy. I'll have to find a baseball hat and some shades. But it comes apparently with a quad jet torch. And I am doing this outside because I am a little nervous. So we'll see what we got going on here. Pop this bad boy out of there. Right. Copper, cork, a little plastic. So it looks like we've got this screen that pops out. Okay. And that goes in over a, a little hole inside that actually connects up to this straw. And I don't know where they got the idea for this arrangement. Gotta get that down there. All right, so there it is, the official bripe. Um, first feedback is it does not stand up on its own, but we're not gonna jump to any conclusions. It comes with this very nice case. I mean, look at this. It's got probably leather with bripe written right on it, elastic string over I don't know, this feels like maybe like headliner upholstery from a car or something, but. Okay. Are you as nervous as I am? A little pouch in here. A vial. Okay. What else? <clears throat> a little thermometer. Bright branded. Um, I guess to be honest, I, I've never really paid attention to the precise temperature of my coffee as I've made it in the past. So this this is new for me. Oh, look, a stand. See? Glad I withheld judgment. There it is. It stands on its own. Beautiful. Okay, what else? We've got lighter instructions obviously we won't use those and the lighter itself hmm. maybe i need to read the instructions just joking obviously All right, well, I will read the instructions, which is embarrassing after I've kind of promised you I wouldn't. But if this doesn't light, then I'm inside over the stove. And if I'm inside over the stove, I, uh, I have coffee pots in there. Okay. So that's there, it looks cool. It's got some nice weight to it, so that's, that's nice. And then if we take this apart it looks like there's some instructions in there okay um, suddenly I am on the hook for a little bit of reading so let me do that and come back all right we'll catch up in a minute all right we're back with uh, with some grim news the lighter does not come filled with butane which I guess really is fair play um, they mentioned some shipping restrictions and stuff. So got to fill this up. So a little trip to the hardware store, grab a, a bottle of butane and we'll be 
griping legit style. But in the meantime, I will continue to make this on the stove. Um, I've taken the liberty of filling up the vial with coffee. I think if I had prepared for this video, you know, more than four minutes in advance, probably would have gone with a finer grind. Um, however, just some Starbucks Verona. So, it says to fill it up, um, I don't know, roughly a third of the way with coffee. Boom, boom, boom. All right, probably overdid that a little bit. No offense to the bribe. I wanna give it a fair shake. Okay. I'm gonna call that about right. I will cap my vial of coffee. Okay. Um, now, I will fill it with water. Okay. Do, do, do. Done. And I will use the thermometer to stir it up a bit as per the instructions. Okay, you can imagine doing this at a campsite or on a canoe or, I don't know, in a deserted parking lot or, or truck stop, whatever your style is. You know, I think we're gonna add a little more water. All right. And then it says I'm supposed to heat this to maximum temperature of 185. Now, let's head inside and see what we can do. I am ready to begin briping. All right, looks like we're hovering around 100 degrees right now, which is higher than expected. I have a pretty thick slurry in there. Um, for me, that looks exciting. For some, that would probably look a little foul. And so now, put your imagination goggles on and say, ooh, what if that was a propane jet that came included rather than the small burner of the stove? But we're gonna get this thing heated up. Sorry if my hand is shaking, I'm just pretty excited. This all started with wanting or needing a cup of coffee, so things are getting pretty intense for me. It's heating up pretty fast. We'll have to do some time trials of stove versus uh, handheld lighter but we're already up in the 130 range. Seems to be holding up structurally, which is good. Uh, the cork is keeping my hand very comfortable. Hard to remember the last time my hand was this comfortable. Touching 140 now. Sorry if you hear some uh, YouTube in the background. It's a lazy Saturday for the kids, which gives me the opportunity to do uh, baloney like this. Come on, Bright. You can do it. 145. We're gonna cut out some of this and skip to the exciting part. Guys, we're almost to 185. We're at easily 180 right now. The temperature is going upside down. I don't even know it's real anymore. I think we're calling this coffee done. That looks like 185 to me. All right, not bubbling, um, but I guess that's proper coffee temperature. 
So let's go find the stand for this and admire it for a minute before drinking. All right, wait, is this a dog video? No, but that is Bolo and ta-da! We have officially briped. I haven't drank it yet, but that's what the finished product looks like. I can take this thermometer out, it's back down to 160. Still feel like I added a little too much coffee, but that's all right. As this cools, I mean, it's kind of fun to reflect back on, on the journey we've, we've taken, right? I mean, not that long ago, I removed this cardboard, right? I had to undo this string, right, to open up the container. That was a highlight for me. Uh, the weather seems to be holding up well. Nathan has allergies in the background. Uh, com leave something in the comments if you want to see the behind the scenes footage of me spilling coffee, trying to fill up this, this uh, vial of coffee. And now because I'm kind of a sissy about uh, coffee temperatures, I'm just gonna stare at this and admire my handiwork while it cools down. Um, Got to admit, I'm a little nervous to try it. I don't know what to expect. Um, coffee through a hot coffee through a straw is not uh, not my usual go-to. But I mean, look at that. You can kind of pivot it around for dramatic effect. Look at this. Oh yeah, the branded side. Boom. Bripe. I will say genuinely a little bit less effort than anticipated to get this going. So, so that's cool. Like no more effort than a usual espresso maker. I was kind of expecting a lot of intricate baloney to go into this, but not the case. And so let me, uh, yeah, let me get this cooled down and I will get my genuine reaction to that first sip of coffee on, on tape for you because I'm, I know you're all dying to see it. Okay, it's not cool enough yet, but I was hoping this would happen. And Megan just got home. And I know she's gonna find this just really, um, really cool. So let's get her reaction. Oh, God. what's that? It's what? the bribe. She loves it. All right, it's time. I can't take the suspense anymore. I think I probably made it pretty strong, but I think that's a good thing for me. Good tasting, strong coffee, no grounds. Just like that, it's gone. Delicious, pretty quick, a little bit silly, but so am I. Yeah, good reviews for the bripe. Thanks, Pops.